guys, it's Shelby and Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing another design dilemma which is where we answer your design dilemmas or solve your design dilemmas and not only that but we completely render and design your space where we believe that it's the most beautiful version of that space and think of the function for your family as well. And today we have Jamie. We love Jamie. She's been one of our great clients that we've loved to work with. She had a pretty common dilemma, the same dilemma I had actually, yeah. where she was kind of stuck in the last season of something more heavy Tuscan browns and golds and things that she just needed to brighten the space. And also she had a question about making all her rugs cohesive because her space is pretty open from one room to the other. Yeah, so I felt like both of those are pretty common problems. A lot of people feel like their spaces aren't bright enough. We're gonna start there with Jamie's home. So her walls were beige. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of homes have beige walls and there's nothing, I mean beige is kind of coming in. Yeah, it's coming back. But different versions of beige right this particular one had a very warm tone kind of mm -hmm. orangey and so she just needed a new paint color so we actually created a blog post with all our top favorite whites we're recommending white for Jamie but we do want to keep it warm so we are going to either choose Soji white West Highland white or alabaster white all from the uh, Sherwin Williams palette Right, and we also recommend always that people put those swatches up on their wall, live with them for a minute to see what it's gonna look like in your space because we've always said lighting and the room size, all these things factor into whites. Yeah, we've mocked it up with that color tone, a warm white, but she's gonna take those samples, put those swatches on her wall, and see which one works best for her. Yeah. The next thing that we did was we kind of toned down that built-in. Her husband is a very talented woodworker, and so of course he appreciates wood species and doesn't want to just paint the built-in. He actually made the coffee table and the side table and a lot of pieces in their home, and they're beautiful, but this built-in is going pretty orange right which is something you see a lot in the 80s and 90s but it's an e easy fix yeah so jamie actually did that in her kitchen refinished and stained not she hired someone to do that and it looked awesome so we just mocked up that built-in with the same finish if you have that dilemma the the your built-ins are kind of or your piece of furniture is kind of going orange we actually just did a tutorial on how to get a kind of restoration hardware finish on a piece of furniture this is actually using paint and wax so it's a little it wouldn't be a solution for Jamie just because her husband wants to see the real wood but if you want that look that's a good solution you can do that over paint as well it doesn't have to be a wood we can yeah. do that over paint because it's paint yeah the next thing that we did was we just brightened up the upholstery pieces and the rug so the sofa was kind of a typical beige-ish. Mm -hmm. It still also had that very warm tones. Leather recliner, two red chairs. Maybe we too much furniture as well. So we paired back her furnishings and just gave her um, a, a modern slip-covered sofa because she really does love that. Yeah. And some really fun pinstripe chairs yeah those are yeah those are great great find so that we also chose a rug and we will tell you that is one of the more more investment pieces yes. in the room and you can see that a lot of the items are more affordable we made cost-effective choices and then mom and I could not stop thinking about this darn rug but neither can Jamie now <laughs> so she's in agreement with our rug choice and yeah. understands it's an investment. She doesn't have a lot of pets and muddy feet, and so it's okay for her to make that decision. We might find a dupe one day, but until then, that's a beautiful rug. And it's, it's handmade, it's Turkish, it's pottery barn, it's quality. So yes. I do want to mention too that those upholstery pieces are light 
and a lot of people get scared, but you've had your slip covered sofas for over eight years. And yes. I wash them about once a month. Um, again, it's the animals, the mechanic husband, all the muddy feet and paws and they wash wonderfully. Yeah. Yeah. We also updated her mantle. So mm -hmm. it didn't need much. She honestly had really cute accents yes. on hers, but I felt like that clock was a little too small and also it it's wood, so it wasn't adding another layer of brightness. And so we found a mirror and it's actually from the Home Depot and it's super affordable. And mirrors are always a good solution to brighten a space because they reflect light, they you open it up and make it look much larger. Yeah. So that that mirror we paired with the candlesticks that she already had and just a vase. So she can take stems from her yard and stick them in a vase and it will finish the look. So then we finished it up with just final touches. She had a piece of furniture that is antique or vintage behind her sofa. We freshened it with new art. It had like a tapestry, which was very common in the Tuscan design phase. And those are typically pretty heavy, full of reds. But it was a landscape and we knew that she loved, again, nature. So we just found a beautiful piece of landscape art in yeah. place of the tapestry and it looks great. Yeah, and that'll be something, I feel like everything we chose from an accent standpoint goes it's like leaning kind of European farmhouse. So she can mix it with some of those more Tuscan items. Mm -hmm. So she won't need to like snap her fingers and buy everything at once. She can kind of phase and mix and match and mm -hmm. eventually all those Tuscan items will just turn into European farmhouse, which okay. is our favorite style now, I think. Yep, that's our favorite. Maybe not our favorite. It is one of our top. We like a lot of design styles. So yeah. <laughs> I don't want to box this in. The last dilemma that Jamie had was just choosing rugs that are cohesive. So I feel like this is a common problem because mm -hmm. everybody's homes are open floor plan is very common. So your dining room opens to your living room that opens to your entry that opens to your breakfast nook and your kitchen and you want rugs in this texture and all these spaces but you want it to flow. You want it to flow from room to room. And even if your rooms are separate, you still want all of your home to feel like a cohesive space. Yep. So we chose some pretty fun rugs. Some of them, like we said, were expensive, but some were really moderately priced and even inexpensive. Yeah. I would recommend, you can see, I'll pop all the rugs up here together and you can see mixes of textures, but that they clearly go together. And if you're having this problem, just hop onto Canva or mom uses a um, collage, <laughs> she calls it collageable on her phone. Yeah, I'm like the old lady. I just use this collageable thing on my phone. But it works. It does work for me, yeah. So you just screenshot the, the photo of the item and put them all on one board. I mean, you mm -hmm. could even literally print them and like pin them and put them together so you can see. Yeah. That gives you an opportunity to see clearly, confidently make your decisions, and if you're gonna invest in one, like if one of them is a larger investment, you can pull the trigger without any regret or guilt or just overthinking it. Because when you're making investments, you wanna be like, I'm gonna keep this for a really long time. Yeah, and Jamie was really pleased when we talked to her about the textiles, the rugs were her favorite. Also, we did some just simple linen, panels in her family room, but all those textiles, the pillows, she was really excited about that. Yeah. This is Jamie's before and after in each space. I'm really happy with how they turned out. This is really fun to do. Yeah, these. it's really fun. Because even though normally a room takes a really long time to install, and I mean, designers can take years to finish a complete design of a room, especially when it includes renovation. So us being able to do it like see it done and then Jamie having that reference to be able to do it over time and mm -hmm. watch her home develop I think is really yeah, fun. Yeah, it's so fun. So if you have a design dilemma, you can, I have a link down below where you can submit your dilemma with your photos and we can render your space. We are choosing the ones that are the most common. So like we knew Jamie's, a lot of people had that issue brightening a space, Choosing rugs, that's a very common problem. And so those are what we're choosing, things that we know that the masses, unless it's really interesting. 
If it's really interesting, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to not submit it if it's like wild. Yeah. But anyways, we would love to help you creatively create a home that you love and solve your dilemmas. Close it out, Mom. Yeah, so thanks for watching. We hope you subscribe and share this with all your friends. We have all the links and have a great day. Yeah, I, I should mention that. You can shop this entire look down below. Everything's linked and then there's a blog post with all of those details and links as well. So if you're looking for something, it's down there. Yeah. So Have right. a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.